this nice and close so we can see each other. And I think we're just about ready to go, folks. That's a little bit better, I think. All right. So for those who are continuing on from the Legendary Robos stream, if you could just give me a uh, sound check, that would be Mondo Appreciatio. That's not how you say it, but sure, whatever. You know, it's Monday morning. Well, actually, it's not Monday morning, it's Saturday morning. What day is it? What year is it? I haven't had coffee yet, you see. That's the problem, so I'm going to solve that problem right now. Mm. Coffee or it didn't happen. Okay, well folks, my name's Jared Morgan. I am one half of the Black Hate Pinball Podcast. Uh, the Pinball, um, the Black Hate Pinball Podcast, we um, specialize in commercial digital pinball and covering everything that there is to cover about the fine hobby that we love to play. And um, today I'm going to be um, streaming uh, the Steam version of uh, Zen Studios um, Pinball FX. And uh, we're going to be focusing on the uh, the tables that were only released as part of um, the Pimble FX um, early access program. Uh, so, as you'll see here, some of my tables are locked out as trials at the moment. Um, so, Zen has kindly unlocked a couple of tables for me on here just for the streaming events, just so I can get stuck into that. Um, and uh, then... Uh, a little bit later when they get a chance and catch up after all the, the post-release work, which must be crazy at the moment, uh, they'll go and unlock the rest uh, for me as well, which I really appreciate. They, they always look after us really well at the, uh, the Black Hate Pinball podcast, and we're very thankful for that. Chris uh, might actually do a bit of streaming later on if he can get his rig working, but for now, it's me in Studio North Lakes. This is the lounge room, not the studio where, I know, where we normally record. So um, we're doing it down from the lounge because it's really comfy and playing a video game sitting on your lounge on a gaming computer is the best way to enjoy it, right? Okay, so uh, I think we might get stuck in first. Let's go at the top and see what we got access to. So we got um, Sorcerer's Lair has made a welcome return again. Um, to the platform, which is great. So it joins the um, uh, the familiar face of Fishtails as well, coming back to uh, the platform uh, just in time for the Steam platform release. Uh, those two tables, if you are new to the platform, are absolutely free. You don't have to pay a single cent for them. They come with the, the platform and you can play them straight away. Uh, the other ones, as you can see, if you... Um, uh, new to the platform game and you might be on the fence about some of these games give them a trial you have about two or three minutes to have a bit of a play on them and see what you think I can let you in on a secret though they're all really good so you know have a look at the offers as well you can actually see if you go in here you can buy the packs um, and uh, you can actually uh, have a look at the, the the list of tables in here as well and get a feel for it I mean, that's a really solid pack. Attack from Mars is one of the uh, the top-ranked tables of all time. Um, and uh, that and Medieval Madness, if you have those two in your collection, you're going to have a fair bit of fun for a very long time, right? Um, so, Party Zone and Black Rose, uh, one of the most satisfying shots in Black Rose is the uh, getting that uh, broadside shot from the cannon. It's really fun if you haven't tried it out, so give these ones a go if you haven't yet. Um, I have a feeling, though, there might be a fair few folks. Um, uh, oh, that's hey, that's actually a really good idea, Wilbers. You know, uh, thanks for joining, Wilbers, as always. Uh, and folks, if you're um, new to the Steam chat uh, and you're a bit on the fence about participating, I really love to chat to folk uh, when I'm playing on pinball. It doesn't does not distract me at all. I've just got a nice little iPad here watching the stream so I can see when you comment and nothing on the screen here so don't worry about commenting I really really like the interaction when I'm, when I'm streaming so absolutely go and heckle me uh, online I love it so uh, yeah let's do that you know I think getting back to your point there Wilbers I'm going to see if uh, we go to the events tab let's see what's going on in the event space at the moment uh, so we will Oh yeah, so 
this is what uh, Wilvers was talking about here. So, even though I don't own this table, I still get access to it um, as part of the events um, uh, series. And honestly, this events format in the game is one of my favorite formats um, in Pinball FX um, in total because you get to try different game modes on some of these tables and depending on the game mode that you are selecting, for example, this one here with the getaway is uh, a grand tournament. So that's just the typical gameplay uh, mode with three balls and you can earn extra balls. Um, but for things like Sorcerer's Lair and the Time Challenge, you've only got five minutes um, to go and get the best score you possibly can before your score is automatically posted on the leaderboard. The game just cuts out. So when you're faced with a five minute challenge and things like that, or three minutes sometimes too, depending on what the, um, the format is, because they can change it between one to five minutes, um, it really forces you to change the way you play the game. So um, they've got Borderlands there. Another amazing table is the Machine, one of the, the finest shots in pinball, uh, getting the billion shot on there. So I think I might actually focus on doing a bit of uh, event play here, Wilbis, if you like the idea of that. Mm. More coffee. Very important. Okay. All right, I'm going to start off no warm-up. I haven't done any warm-up before um, starting the stream after the fabulous Robo did his um, stream this morning. Thanks, Robo, for um, doing a great stream and showing us all the uh, new stuff as well. Um, but I'm going to, yeah, we're going to do a bit of event play, I think, today. That'll be a fun thing to do. Okay. So, let's get started with the getaway. Oh, nice. What did you get, Wilbus, on your game of getaway? Hey, 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 Robo. Thanks for joining, man. Um, yeah, right. So, um, I think uh, Ro uh, Wilbur's had a really good suggestion, Robo, that we're going to do a bit of event play um, today because even though I don't own the getaway at the moment because it's still on trial and I haven't got the unlock codes for it, I can still play it in events. And that's a really good tip for folks out there if you're new to the platform. Um, you can come along and play the events for free and experience some of these tables in some different game formats as well. So it's a really good way to get exposure to the different tables across the platform because there's there's a hundred tables in this collection now on Pinball FX and that is it's a bit daunting when you are faced with that as a new um, player coming into the platform. So if you want to see what's going on, get into the events. Um, at worst, you'll place on the leaderboard, right? It doesn't matter where you place; it's all about having fun with Pinball anyhow. So. Let's give that a go. Let's, I've, one of my favorite tables is the getaway. There's something about this era of pinball where um, the, the sound orchestration and just the punchy gameplay of some of these System 11 titles. Actually, this is not typically System 11 because it's DMD. Um, but the, this era, this early 90s heyday era of pinball, is just, they just really got comfortable with what they were doing as far as game and sound design, so it's actually a joy to play some of these tables. So let's get stuck in. Alright. We'll start. And, uh, get our first um, ship here. See if I can trap up here and get another um, freeway. So you'll see that when you enter into a return lane, which is some of those new that's the uh, thing behind those slingshots, the kickers, triangle kick kickers. Um, that will actually light what's called the freeway shot. And the freeway shot um, will build up much faster your um, uh, RPM counter, which is a big circular disc in the middle of the playfield here. What are we going to get here? Freeway. Okay, that's good. Um, so, getting back to the point, the, the, the freeway shot's a really lucrative way of building up your... No, that's going down. No saving that. So, yeah, the, the freeway shots will build up your RPM counter and progress you through those five um, modes at the top of the um, RPM counter. The middle one's lit up at the moment, and that's a... Uh, I think that is um, Supercharged Mania. So, let's see if we can get that. We've also got 
lock lit, so your locks on this table are activated by the traffic light stand-up targets, so those circular targets. And I've just shot that um, shot there, and that'll get us hey, up. Um, nice oh, my PC audio? Uh -huh, yeah, alright. Let me go and have a look at that, mate. Thanks for the check. It's always really tricky to get the balance right here. I'm going to drop this right down to one like you did yesterday, Robo, because that seemed to really help matters, I think. Alright, let's see how that is going. How's that? If I'm talking and revving at the same time, how's my audio level going now? Just watching the stream for a minute. Sorry, folks, we're just doing the uh, uh, the audio tuning. It seems to be a common problem. Everyone that I've seen streaming so far has had varying issues with uh, uh, audio peaks and stuff. Still very loud, okay. Uh, so, is the... Um, game audio loud, or is my voice loud? Say so it's probably the game audio. Uh, so we'll go to settings, and I'm going to actually just drop down that, because that might actually help too. So if I drop down those, and maybe level it out to two, that might help. Yeah, I, I, I thought that um, that might actually be the reason. So it just looks like master volume, I don't know, may not have too much of an effect. Well, that seems a little bit better. It's certainly quieter in my headphones now. So, yeah, hopefully that's feeling a little bit uh, less peaky for you folks on the stream there. Folks, if you're just joining, we're doing streaming of um, Zen Studios Pitball Effects on the Steam platform, which has been released. Um, and we're doing, uh, focusing on the events today. Uh, so we're going to be um, doing a bit of event play. And the good thing about event play is that you get to try the tables in different configurations and different modes if you're new to the platform. So it's a really good way of... Uh, um, uh, okay, no worries. I will just go and peak the master volume because I think the master volume is the now the issue. So if I go four across the board... Let's see. So, I've also like dropped the audio in OBS as well a little bit because I've I found that was uh, quite loud. But it doesn't. OBS seems to do nothing. I don't know why. It must be the um, the game capture beta that I'm using. Maybe it's not quite tuned yet for um, for the audio. I also had some strange audio spikes before. So. Um, um, yeah, I know, it's a bit weird without the music. Let's just fire it up and see if I go. I'll just play. Ah, it's completely dropped the sound effects. Oh, uh, the music. Completely. Okay. Let's just restart, eh? It's not like it was a good game, anyhow. Um, I'll have to exit out and use one of my goes for this one. So with the events, you're having a certain number of tries per day. And it resets every eight to 10 hours. So normally if you do it at night, after you've had dinner, you can go and do your tournament rounds. Um, hopefully that's, now we've got music playing at the same time. Uh, that's uh, hopefully a little bit better. See, I've got rank 1,082. So I think we could do a little bit better on that once we work out the sound issues. Um, uh, so we will go back to um, playing a bit of the getaway um, just in a few moments when I get confirmation from the stream that things are working. So, yeah, in the events screen here, you can go and see what events are running. And once you actually participate in events, you automatically get ranked at the end of it. So you'll see that all these ones here that are finished um, uh, on the um, uh, Epic Games platform. Uh, so when if you rank well enough, you actually get trophies as well. And you can display the trophies um, in the little cabinets on the side of the... Um, the the uh, the screen. So I am just going to assume that music and sound is um, super awesome now, and I'm just going to play because it seems that you're never going to get it quite right when you stream. Uh, so we'll just persevere with it, and then um, between balls, I'll just check in to see if it's not horrible or not. Ah, oh, what's the special trophy? Um, for uh, Pinbot. 
Is it because it's a grand tournament table? Is it a grand tournament table? I don't know. We'll see in a minute. Let's go and play this one, though. I'm keen to play some pinball. Not mess with sound and audio issues, because... OBS is fun, folks. I must admit, I've been mucking around um, a bit with different streaming platforms, and OBS by far is the most frustrating to try and get working. Um, I've been using um, Twitch, uh, the, the Twitch broadcaster software, and it is like a, a breath of fresh air um, to use and configure. So, all right, so here we got three multi ball, three balls going. I'm gonna try and trap up here and shoot it up the um, main ramp. Because when you shoot up the man, that's up. Um, you shoot up the main ramp, it starts the supercharger jackpot countdown. And then your jackpots are either at the um, the left loop or the um, side loop. So I'll just try and get ball control here. And um, oh man. Alright, I might just be able to sneak it up that side ramp now and get it. Come on, balls are down. Give me my ball, thank you. Alright, I will take that jackpot. Done. Okay, I can deal with reasonable wilders. <laughs> ah, and straight down, wonderful. Alright. Okay, well, let's go and have a go at Pinball next then, I guess. Um, we'll visit there's some special trophies hanging around. I really like special trophies. I really like um, Zen to work quite hard on solving the problem of achievements, um, somehow migrating them over from uh, EGS to Steam for those people who want to make the jump. One, two, three. Oh, Supercharger Ready. Oh, sorry. As I referred to it last night, Supercharger Drainier, because that seems to be what I do whenever I play this mode. Just drain immediately. Alright. So, each of these shots in Supercharger Mania is going to award you points. But, the most lucrative shot is right at the Supercharger, because every time you shoot the ramp, you're going to get, um, sort of, uh, an extra five million points on top of the points you're already getting with the shot, so you really want to try and get that. I mean, looping is, is effective as well. I think I might just... Oh, yeah, just missed. Just missed the uh, grace period shot on that um, center ramp, so... Oh, a nice full 10. A bit of shift, otherwise um, Steve Richie will get angry at me. Come on, gear up. I don't want to do that, I want to gear up. Alright, so stay in the center line. That was the trick. Except I didn't do it because I was thrashing around. So, so the trick with the video mode, and oh geez, always try and relight your kickback in this table because it's just brutal. It will always go down that left lane. Is if you get some. Nope. It's relatively safe to get your kickback lit. So the kickback are the one, two, three lights, um, and it's recommended to get them because the ball will always go down that left out lane. It is an absolute drain monster um, if you're new to the table. So. Oh, my beautiful combo was interrupted by me getting a lot of qualification. Oh well. Could be worse things to get interrupted by, right? Let's see if we can cash that in. And I've got kickback lit again too, which is very nice. I don't remember hitting any of the one, two, three targets, so maybe doing the loops will actually relight your um. Nice car. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Oh, red line mania already without really trying that much. Okay, so. Oh, that's not red line mania. Okay, I'm doing pretty good. Really want to backhand it, but it's not letting me backhand it today. Just 
trap up. And we're going to go and see if we can get Red Line Mania. Red line. So, everything's lit, jackpot's all lit. You get an extra ball there, which you collect pretty much automatically by just flailing around on the playfield. Um, super jackpots are lit. Um, all the targets are worth um, 500,000. So, just shoot anything basically in this mode. And it doesn't necessarily matter too much if you're draining, because two balls are easier to control. Extra ball, see if I can trap up because I might just be able to take advantage of that trap ball eject. I should eject pretty much now. And for some reason, there's a big invisible wall in that lane that stopped me from getting that shot. Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay. And down. Yep. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay. Good. No more coffee. Sad times. Alright. So, it's now just a matter of um, building up your RPMs. And uh, Outlane drives me nuts. Okay. Try and get those lanes lit again. Uh, yeah. Really? Three million? Nice. All that's up. those bottom ones, which is why it's nice that they inverted the 1, 2, 3 targets go in reverse on the left and right side, so if you've got riskiness on one side, you can sort of be a little bit safer on the other when you're trying to relight your kickback. So that is a nice little design feature of the game that they thought about. Oh, oh that was just plain lucky. No, sorry. That was just the skill, right? No, it was luck. Uh, freeway? No, it's not freeway. Yeah, just manage that freeway. Another one. The red line drainier is lit. That was nearly red line drainier right there. See? 10 million a second time. Try and get it up there again for another... Oh, close. One more? Oh, no more. Oh, come on! Right. Actually, no, that you're right. There is one, two, three on both sides. I'm imagining things. But, the, which side would you prefer to shoot for when you're trying to relight the, um, the kickback? It's not the left, folks. <laughs> when you're trying to relight it, it's all right if you've got one already banked. You're just trying to build up your supercharger because the thing about the, uh, the one, two, three lights is they also build your supercharger value as well. So... Um, good, good to shoot. Risk reward though, right? You gotta just be careful. Right. That is. Right. Stay in the middle. I guess. 
Okay, I've never seen that before. <laughs> There's no traffic on the road. That was the must know I'm a crazy driver. Ah, oh, that outlane drives me nuts. Okay, that's a reasonable, reasonable score. That should get me somewhere on the leaderboards, don't know where. Oh, okay. That's, yeah, okay. That'll be fine. 33 is a good start, at least. Okay, let's have a look at the, um... The trophy that you can get for the machine. Now, I wonder... It'd be interesting to see... Whether they do, um they level out the scoring on this. I really wish they'd put in tournament settings sometimes um, on the event tables because depending on the, the scoreboard, I'll have a look in after this round, but um, uh, you can pretty much bet that if you get a billion, you're going to have to be a pretty high rank on the, on the board. Williams tables because they don't have direct control over certain elements of the ROM like they do on their own Zen original tables. They sort of turn tilt off. Um, but why I do that? Normally I just go punch, just punch the A button and just for like a quarter of a second or something and I get this little shot pretty fairly. That was really close. Yeah, absolutely. Will be. There is a there's a distinct chasm between the one billion uh, recipients. You just gotta hope you have a lucky a lucky spin right on the uh, big wheel when it comes time to. Uh, oh man, wasn't escaping that. Um, through the metamorphosis, I say, like, uh, it's really just luck you do it. And it comes down to, again, if you invest a little bit of time each day playing the events, you will luck out eventually and get the billion shot. And, you know, the billion shot isn't hard to get, it's just shooting up the middle, and you'll get it if you qualify it. So, you know, it's not hard to get, it's just actually getting it is the hard bit. But I've seen some people, they must have had such a good game that they've had the billion shot like twice or three times in a row on the leaderboard. It's just ridiculous. It's like, where's all... Stop hogging the billion shots, right? Okay. Let's see if we can just get some control and we'll shoot up the ramp. That's not what I want to do. But that will just do it. I feel... And running shot up the ramp. No, so it did bounce. Eat. No. Nope. Try and get control. Shoot it up the ramp. Up there. Right, here we go. Metamorphosis this time. <coughs> Let's see if it is my lucky day for a billion point shot on the stream. Come on. Hi there. 
Now, I'm going to try a little trick here as these balls come down. Oh, no. Right. Okay, trap. And shoot. Same again. Take the extra ball. I will take it. Whoa, those little, that light show. I didn't see a thing that was happening. Whoa, okay. Just completely left the track there. Power surge. Whoa, that shouldn't have happened. Uh, oh man, she's going nuts. What is going on here? It should be losing its path on the on the little. Oh come on. Okay, work that time. Right here we go. Billion, billion. Billion. Oh yeah. Just don't suck, Jared. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, come on. What am I doing? Ah. No. Ugh. interesting feature to turn on in your make your own tournaments um, feature in the program actually be able to say right I want tournament settings for tables so you know no ocean balls um, fixed random awards all that sort of good stuff and then uh, that would actually probably keep ball times down as well a little bit I think but sometimes you know you just want a quick game Oh, no, nah, I'm going to be able to save that one. Nearly had it. It's just a slow and lingering death if you uh, mess up that middle shot. You notice I'm not even looking at the plunger when I'm plunging the ball. I'm just, I've got like a muscle memory set up for the, for the A button where I just press it for a certain amount of time. Generally, it'll just dribble in there. In this case, it didn't, but I've had pretty good success with just giving it a light tap, basically, and it just goes in. All right. Let's see if I can get some metamorphosis again and not screw up the billion shot. Should I actually get it awarded again? Which I probably won't this time. But. Machine complete and fully operational. Okay. I feel strange. It does not compute. All right. What's happening? Thing is, you know, if you screw it up the first time. <laughs> It's not too difficult to get back to um, human form again. So, you know, just give it a go. 
don't get too upset. Alright, come on. Give me the balls. Alright, try to Shoot skillfully. With pleasure, the machine. Come on. I'll take that 50 million though. That's a very nice award. Let's see if we can get up there again. Whoa, 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 whoa. That shouldn't have happened, but sure, I'll take it. More chances on Caleb's trap. I love the heartbeat in this game. Like the fact that it's like making you freak out that you need to shoot it fast when really you don't. You just shoot it whenever. Come on. Do me a billion. Alright, don't screw it up, Jared. Oh, oh no! And I will time out. Come on. Yes! To the that was close, but I managed to cash it in. Woo! Heart is racing now. That's the thing that Billion Shot gives you every time. Like, the pressure that you face when you're actually trying to get that Billion Shot is... It's a good feeling in the game. It feels really good. Feels good, man. Okay. That's a nice. That's very nice. Okay, I'm happy. We got a billion. We're doing okay. That's right. Oh, extra ball. Don't mind if I do. Okay, so I think I've just maxed out the... ...250 million supply. Nice. Alright, so I need to get it to a lane... ...that actually touches... ...a rollover. So obviously... That silly ramp to get a guaranteed extra ball. There we go. So let's see if we can get it up there and just get another extra ball lined up. I, don't know. I actually completely lost track of the ball then. So the pressure isn't on to get that extra ball, but I'm just going to dial it in anyhow. <clears throat> so even without the billion shot, that's a 94. Ooh, okay. That's not the separation that I want. Well, all righty then. Okay. Must, must have rolled over the... Oh, far out. Must have rolled over the switch at some point. That's okay. Back to the two eyes. I can deal with that. It's not that hard to build up the eye. Oh, man. Okay. Thanks, skill shot for just... Not skill shot. Thanks, sling shot for just post-draining me there. Well, that was 
Okay. So we'll multiply up for now. Yeah. 13. Yeah. Okay. Okay, 101 million points, plus a billion. So that's alright. Welcome to the Billionaires Club. Funnily enough, what you're seeing there where the music just cuts out actually happens on the real table as well. It's some weird bug with the ROM. Okay, where are we? Okay, 22. I think we can leave it there for now. Uh, right, so I've got 34 and we get away. That is another grand tournament of Secrets of the Deep. I can never really get the flow on Secrets of the Deep. Uh, it's a weird, it's a weird table to sort of get into. Um, even weirder on Five Minute Challenge if you've ever encountered it in the events uh, mode there. Uh, for folks who've just joined, I'm Jared. I'm one half of the Black Arcade Pinball Podcast. We're doing a bit of event play at the moment on uh, Pinball FX. Uh, this is the Steam release of Pinball Effects. And I think we might just get stuck into Secrets of the Deep here. This will be the first time I played this today. So, let's go and see if we can get the skill shot, which is up the top. No, it was up high today. And we'll, uh, no, I'm not quite dialed in yet on this one. Might take a couple of couple of games in this one to get uh, really into it. I think. I will, I will just keep it up. Ah. Okay. Which one? Top one. Okay. A little bit more than one thousand. Oh, close. Oh, okay. We're right out of the upper play for What happened there? All saved. <sighs> I'm, say, I'm not a huge fan of Secrets of the Deep. It's, uh... Oh man, that is brutal. You have to flip on that that upper flipper. Otherwise it's instant game over. Skill shot. Alright, got the skill shot. I almost think this table is paying a bit of uh, homage to um far out. Paying a little bit of homage to um, Junkyard with the big pendulum. So, wow, okay, it really doesn't want me to stay in the playfield at all today. Okay, well, at least I'm on the leaderboard. It's nothing fancy, but. Yeah, that's about right. Let's try again. Yeah, the, 
<laughs> the table with the less famous shark indeed. Yes. And one of the best worst Australian accents that I've ever heard in my life. I, I think it's supposed to be Australian that they were shooting for here with the captain, but it's a bit it's a bit beauty bonzer mate, if you know what I mean. Throw another shrimp on the barbie type of Australian accent. shooting that all right I will just keep it up mate Fantastic. okay well I double <laughs> doubled my first score which you know is nice ah, got too much uh, headphone cable going on here let's run it down there for a little bit uh, we go it's better my shooting ramps. Fantastic. Ooh. Frustrating thing about that table, not that they're gonna do anything about it, but it's just that that left outlane area is just like Whoa! What happened there? That was the strongest magnet in existence. I think it was like a Whoa, okay. That's handy. Alright, narrow trench. So, the trick I found with this mode is just to always recenter it each time, and then you'll never get caught short with uh, getting stuck on a, a pillar. Right, job. No worries, mate. It's a more Now flip Jared so I don't <laughs> lose it immediately down the uh the yeah uh, okay. What what is even lit? Uh so, something's lit. Magma save is lit. Never work this out. Uh, what was I supposed to do there? If anyone on the stream can tell me how to work the crane in this game, I would love to know. Because it just it it feels like it needs to be like a Johnny mnemonic claw sort of situation, but I don't quite know what the control scheme is for it. Oh, okay. 
Whoa! Everyone to the clubhouse. Far out. Oh. Well, that was a massive non-event, wasn't it? Right, there we are. So, submarine is on the way with zero warning when it ejects. It's like, OMG, be on your toes. Nice combo. Hit the squid boys. Just ramps. Well done. Thanks, mate. Yeah, like the one to fit between the flippers. Watch out for the holes. I presume it's the holes in the upper playfield. Emergency surfacing initiated. Okay. I I don't know about that right magnet, Wilbers. It seems like it's um it's pretty powerful. I mean, we've seen this, right, with some of these older Zen tables. The magnets are ridiculously overpowered. Um, like, you know, a classic one is Jurassic Park, right, where you can activate the magnet save and it snatches the ball from nearly at the out lane all the way back up to the magnet again. Like, it's, it's ridiculous. But, you know. Um, shark attack. Hmm. Yeah. Um... Well, that's true. You know, we do about the shark and the uh, the uh, Ocker Aussie voice uh, sound alike. Maybe, yeah, maybe it's not the captain that we're listening to. Maybe it is Bruce, the shark. So, I don't know. What is the target I'm going for? Middle one. Okay. Let's just punch it and see. Die, die. Uh oh. I mean, on the subject of the magnet, I mean, it saved my bacon. What turtles on the shore? What are we doing? Uh, just trap up so I can read the what, tur turtle turning time. Uh, the loops. I wish they'd have more instructions on the DMD for this game. It really needs it. I presume it's that squid shot. Yep, it is the squid shot. Oh, now I'll go do. Whoop. Okay, no magnet to snatch it from the feet there. Oh well. Oh, I see. When there's a voiceover, the shark's eyes light up. I have to watch for that. Because if that's the case, then then that's totally acceptable as as a uh, Bruce sound alike. I don't want to watch the shark eyes and drain the ball, which is what I will absolutely do if I do that. Fantastic. Shipwreck explored. Okay, what does that mean? <clears throat> the power button. So, I've explored the shipwreck. What does that do? Whoa. Whoa, okay. There's that magnet again. So much peril. I feel like it needs to... That... Diverter ramp. So, that rail... So, on the left-hand ramp, that rail that pulls it over to the... Um, the bowl. I'm trying to work out how you actually actuate that, whether it's automatic or... What is going... What is happening? Escape from the clutches of the... What? Oh, that's lucky. Alright, 
just shooting everything but what I need to, but anyhow, let's try. Okay, let's start. Oh man. Absolutely chopping wood. That bit there. Alright. Well, something happened there. I don't know what it was. I don't know how I got it, but it was definitely a thing. Man, fair enough. so many balls locked in too. What a waste. Oh well. Seven, after all that, seven million. And I'm 165th. Right, that's why I don't like playing this game. Like you say, I'm sure there's points in the, the shark attack um, mode, but clearly I did not capitalize on those points. Is it like... Yeah, I, I would have thought it was like A or something like that, Wilbur's, that you have to press to activate it. Um, I was trying to press A when the ball was flying through there, but yeah, it, nothing worked. Um, so yeah, I don't know what it, what it is. Maybe it's both flippers or something like that you need to press when it passes there. But, or uh, maybe it doesn't work at the moment. That's why nothing is working when you're pressing it, so... I'm not sure. I'm sure if I read the instructions, like I hate doing, I would probably find out what I need to press, right? But, um, feeding balls to the shark, okay. Hmm. That's obviously why people have... What is the top leaderboard score in this at the moment? 62. Yeah, okay. That's... Like, compared to other tables, that's not a big score, but on this table, as you saw... 7 million was a lot of chopping wood just to get there. So 62 is a very good get there. So congrats Depeche M101 on that score. Good gap between 1 and 2 there too, which is uh, pretty nice. Okay. Let's go and try the next table in here, which is Borderlands. Now, this one... I don't know, it takes a little while for me to dial in the shots um, on this one. And I did okay the other day, I got like 175 million on it, but I have not been able to replicate that again. This one? Are you sure? And Does that look right? Alright, so... This one? FL4K, Are you sure? Amara... Does that look right? This one? Are I you sure? don't quite know what each one of these does. Again, the instructions probably will tell me. But I'm just going to full plunge it. Hey, that could be a clue. Oh, let's change Let the view perspective on that because that is horrible. Be your guide. Okay, so it seems that a good practice here on this table is to, um, well, obviously smack away at the uh, cardboard cutout drop targets, so you can get them down, but. Um, the other thing too is to get it up that that top play field as well as much as you can because that seems to be where some good points are available Leap across that chasm. well okay also it seems that this way, well, I nearly had it well, I had that shot dialed in at one point oh yet? man I think it's a little bit again I guess it doesn't really matter because it's a flips challenge. So I should stop just. I should, Come at me, scrub lord! I'm ripped. I should stop just randomly flipping ah! here. Find the magnet controls. Stopping, do. Uh -huh. Okay. Did you find a shield yet? Marcus! 
Whoa, okay. Yeah, I'm just burning down my flips here, obviously. Then you will be a life death. I have to say, this playing this approach. in limited flips mode is not my favourite way of playing this game. It's uh, one of those games where you kind of need to flip pretty regularly to control the ball as it comes back down. Someone didn't check their tire pressures! This is my dirt! Stay off of it! How's it going? If I were you and I'm super glad I'm not, I'd check that car over there. Enjoy! Quick, like a trick! Gotta get old mate here. here I'm moored! I list angry balls! There we go. Traveler, I've got a screenplay. You'd love me to read. That look right. Hey, that could be a clue. Whoa, that Perfect. was fast. And away we go. That was good points. Why, anyone on the stream? Why did I get such good points for shooting that shot? Was that like super skill shot or something? That I just happened to stumble across. Posting up. Jump, recruit! This way, recruit! Whoa, that came back real fast. Okay. Alright! I love animal balloons! Very good, mate. I'm pleased for you. I'm just, with some of these flip challenges, draining at the cost of a flip gets the ball where you need it. Yeah, We've you're right. Yes, I am wasting a lot of flips, I know. Heal your wounds, recruit! Alright, it's just a warm up for me in this game. I'll actually it. try and do better. But don't get cocky. I'll do better for you, Wilbers. I promise. Cyrene, save us! Leap across that chasm! Glancing shot. Holding my ground. Don't you touch me, Tomodachi. Continue. Oh, again. Okay. Look at you. Hey, do you hear bloodthirsty screaming? Dodge this. My suffering is yet incomplete. Chewy, now punch me! How's that supposed to help me? All right. Howdy, recruit. Three lifts there. I might as well just burn them down. Oh, look at this. I actually went into the negative there. That's interesting. Not much point having three flips left. I'm going to be able to do happening? literally nothing with that. So negative three flips, Time to folks. Close up this hard cake. There should be an award. Okay, where does that put me? 420, yep, that was expected. Alright, so this time, for really reals now. Yeah, you're right. Uh, that's, I think, when I actually was playing just regular mode on this one. Wilbur's, the, the car is definitely a, a strategy, and I think the designer on one of the pinball streams brought that up as a, a good scoring strategy. So... I'm going to just not use my flips here. I'm just going to launch. Hey, that could be a clue. Let my melodious voice be your guide. Oh crap! Okay. Limited flips mode, everything, every shot's gotta be a killer shot, otherwise. Some of these are hit and miss. Jump, recruit. That's good. Our lives, our glory! Uh, come back to me, ball. Oh, that sucks. So I leveled up. That's what those little green 
things are there, it seems. Level up triangles. Okay, that's good, I got the car. That's what I'm trying to do. This way, recruit! Wildlife here is fantastic. I mean, everything still wants to murder and devour you, but so pretty. Ah, no, 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 no! Oh, um, something's sticking down. Leap across that chasm. We had it. Oh, what happened there? Okay. Oh, come on. Good beasts get punished too! Perfect! And away we go! I'm yanking a cord! Oh, jeez, just get in the crate. Taste That'd be great. Alright. Whoa, that was nearly a drain. Did you find a shield yet? Okay, so I actually went behind the crates and that time. And comes open! Why? Alright, cool. Hey, hi, how are you? I'm just gonna keep with that one at the top there. Ah, oh, missed it. A little bit too early on the plunge That's there. Sir Puntle, dangerousness! Okay. This could save your life. Then you will be a life. Oh, why do I keep doing that? Heal your wounds, recruit. Ah, uh, get wrecked. I guess it doesn't really matter because, well, it's on flips mode. Jeez. And we're back. Oh no! This way, recruit. So I just wonder, some of these, way, recruit. some of the call-outs that Claptrap, I guess that's his name, um, does this in way, the game. Recruit. I wonder if they. You are super slow. If you want, I could chop off your legs and install a wheel. I know mean a anything, or if they just random quotes. So I'm trying to work that out because Meet my it would be great if it was edge. meaningful. Okay, 8 out of 10 for a new weapon, I'm nearly there. Oh, right down the guts. Very nice. Okay. This is where we hold up! Really? Okay, great. Obviously the biggest one. Hey, Shiv! All your dumb friends are dead! Alright. Come to me! Don't come to me! It's my way to... That's a moving violation! Posting up! I'm not gonna say it again! This could save your life! Then you will be a life dead! Wanna try another one? This way, recruit! Our last one. Take yeah. this ammo, recruit! Whoa, what happened there? Try to get me, poser! Jump, recruit! Oh, 
Okay, so... Not getting shot today. Definitely did a little bit better than my last the half through the game. Your way is the wrong way! I just want to put it in my lap and stroke it. Yes, Valley! Hyper Drive! Leap across that chasm. Oh, that was close. No more flips. I'm mad too. Just look at my brain. Okay. Well, 18 I can be okay with. Give it up, you fresh bug. Okay. I will just let that slide, I think. Okay, what's next on the events tab? Folks, if you've just tuned in, I am Jared Morgan or Jared Morgs Online, one half of the Like Hey Pinball podcast. I'm doing streaming on the Pinball FX on Steam, and we're doing a bit of event play today. Um, going through the events, experiencing some of the uh, tables that have become available in conjunction with the new release. So the last one on the list to do is Sorcerer's Lair. So again, I haven't played this game for probably about a year uh, because I've just been focusing on pinball effects in Epic Games Store and now on Steam. Uh, so, I mean, this game has been around for ages it's a fun flowy game um but i think it might take me a little while to warm up on it so no time like the present right let's do it welcome to the sorcerer's lair it's a five minute challenge too so it's just try and work out the strategy for good scores on this in five minutes it's gonna be interesting at least i can flip without any restrictions anymore. It feels good. Oh, look at that flipping. It feels so good. I hate limited flip modes. Definitely tested it. Oh, really? Take what happened hand. there? That was an odd outlane drain, but... Why is that outlane? Is there a pin that pops out? Oh, I think the, the lane opens up or something, doesn't it? There's like a little bit further means the ball will go back through that lane. First time I played Sorcerer's Lair in the um, Unreal Engine. So I'm going to be interested to see what sort of lighting improvements they've made to the game. I mean, it was pretty... I've got to admit, it was pretty visually nice when... <coughs> pardon me. Uh, when they were using the... Um, their old engine, um, but I'm just wondering if there's any more visual niceties happening at the moment. So far, not so good. Not a really big score. Okay. Come on. I'll my shots in on this yet. Whisper isn't here yet. Where could Whisper be? I don't see Whisper anywhere. Well, let's see if Whisper is there now. You're good at this stuff. Can you solve it? Whoa! Yeah, I haven't seen just this watch me. Okay. Uh oh. 
Oh. So, how do you change the... Okay. I love, I love video modes that literally give you no explanation about how to control it or any of that. It's really good. Alright. It's alright. I'm sure there'll be an opportunity to get back there again and have another go. But it's like, what am I trying to do here? There you are, Whisper. Magnificent. Okay, that actually helps. One million is is good. Oh, I'm trying to remember the um, strategy for this table, like where the quick points on it, because I can't remember. It's been that long since I played it. Ah, there's the diverter. Alright, flipper. Yeah. So, for those new to the platform, Sorcerer's Lair is one of two free tables you have access to. Um, the other one is Fishtails. You get those two just for downloading the game. So, both of which are pretty good tables. Um, Fishtails is super enjoyable. Um, it's a fast playing game. But uh, yeah, Sorcerer's Lair has been a fan favorite for a while. It's been around the platform for uh, many years and features in many user initiated tournaments because it's like the only table you get when you first start, so. I think some people might be a bit over it, but you know, when you start getting back into it after a break, you realise it's it's a, there's a lot going for it. It's got a lot of really nice flow shots if you can get the flow going. Unlike me, who's just chopping wood all day. Nearly time for this ball to end, and there we go. So I'm not expecting a very good place on the leaderboards for that one, but 6:49. I was expecting worse, to be honest. Uh, let's go again. Yeah, I tried to follow the instructions, but I wasn't sure of the controls that I needed to use. Again, it was like, oh, like, oh, there's, there's this interface. What is this interface? I'm trying to understand it. Uh, and the instructions are there, but I, I was too overwhelmed by all the gears and platforms and stuff. It's like I didn't... That wasn't the thing that was drawing my attention into that screen when the the sort of video mode thing was in there, Wilbur's. So, um, for a, again, this is like a first. I've never seen that mode ever um, in playing it. So, that was the first time I experienced it, and that's like the first run user experience of that part of the table for me. So it was like total confusion, bombing out really quickly. So, I'm sure I'll get there again though, but just like a bit rough the first time through. To the okay, I'm going to do a little skill shot here. I think there's a skill shot to be had. Yep. Skill shot. There we go. Now, I know that to start mode you've got to get those three glowing targets and then the, um, the stairwell raises up and you get to shoot modes in there, but you think I can actually control the ball well enough to get in there? Yeah, nah. Okay, well that's one. That might actually help now that the platform's spinning. Because... Ooh, that's good. Open it up. Let's see if the idea there is right. Well, can we get to... Okay. Gates to the void. What am I doing? Step into the gates of the void. Oh, shoot all the flashing shots. Except the gate. Cool. If I can actually shoot the big glowing flashing shots as directed. Three. Let me help you oh. first. Oh. Okay. So they'll walk you around the playfield. Whoa, where am I? Nice. Whoa. That was lucky. I wouldn't try this again. Well, okay. We need Whisper's help. Lost, are we? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. A secret 
way. Where could Whisper be? Whisper isn't here yet. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, that's cool. All right. So you're saying that for that mode with the portals, I needed to shoot Whisper Hole first, and then I wouldn't be getting lost by the portal shots. target there. Must be millimeters off. There we go. It's a really clear shot up that U-turn uh, ramp there. Oh, there we go. That's fine. Good. Let's do another mode, hey? Ooh, right. I hate Ooh. spiders! Okay, me play filter. Spiders? No match for my slingshot. Cool. Ooh. Oh, oh, man. That's all. Good points down there, though. Turns into a glowing ball. I have to get back into this one again and actually just play it on regular mode to get used to the uh, instructions. Because it's one of those ones where the instructions uh, they fly past pretty quickly. Oh come on! Not enough Zeus. Down to the last 30 seconds. What am I going to be able to pull out in that time? Probably not much. Just some minor points, I think, at this stage. Oh, <laughs> five, five seconds of multiball. What can I get? Nothing. Okay, well. There you go. Okay. That's enough of that, I think. Alright. I think that's all of the... I've done one playthrough each of all the event tables. I just want to have one more crack at the getaway. A, because I love the table, and B, because I think I might be able to do a little bit better than 35th. Let's see how we go. Oh, that'd be right. 
uncradle everything, then rain terribly. Just a pixel out. Ten million, thank you. Points are definitely welcome when I'm playing tournaments. Like I'll take those ten million points for free. Supercharger. Someone probably in the stream can tell me exactly why it does it. It might be a graphic setting that I've got set. But this table, whenever it moves, all the chrome surfaces are just glistening. It's almost like it's uh, got Twilight Sparkle on it everywhere. So I think on some tables it does it too, not all of them. This one particularly seems to be really glistening. It shimmers, it sparkles in the midnight. Supercharger Radio. Out of the pop bumpers. Out of the pop bumpers, please. Five. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. That's close. Oh yeah, actually, sorry, bro, but I just saw your comment. Right, Wild West Rampage is also free. So, three free tables in total. Fishtails, Sorcerer's Lair, and Wild West Rampage. Wild West is actually not a bad table. There's a fair bit to do on it. It's a bit of a spellorama, which is uh, what I call tables where you have to shoot the same shot over and over again to lighter mode, but like, if you can get past that, it's actually got quite a few good things going for it. Okay, I'll take that. Essentially, it's it's a free ride, but it's like a brand new ball with a bonus. Uh, Red Rhyme Mania. That's what I want to get. Let's 
see if I can just safely get into that little button. What happens if I just go and let this run down? Alright, here we go. Mania. Five feet, three ways. I'll take the kickback. Trap up and we'll see if we can get that jackpot. Come on, give him the ball. There we go. Get it into the supercharger, start burning down those loops. See if we can get two balls up in there. Yes! I love this. We can get two balls up in the supercharger. It's so satisfying. And then left loop. I love the sound effect and the animation that you get when you do that. It is just such a very good feeling. Okay. Get up that supercharger ramp. Whoop. Bye bye ball. Alright, back to gear one. Let's see, that's not bad, 280 ball in the bucket there, so it's not a bad red line mania at all. I'll take that. Alright. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, that was not a bad ball. Alright. Nice if I could get to red line menu again, but that's that's quite an ask. So, especially if I'm just chopping wood like I'm doing at the moment, that's definitely going to be an ask. All right. home in, so... That's a pretty respectable score though on the getaway during a, um, a tournament, so I'll take it. Breathing down your tail there, Wilbers. Watch out. Five 
million points away from just knocking you off there. Nice game, by the way, Wilbert. That's a good score on that. Next time. All right. I've got about 20 minutes to go until my stream slot finishes, so I might just jump back to just the table collection. We'll go and have a look through the tables that I have available to me. Uh, so... I like to decrypt yesterday, but it was a bit of a long player, so I wonder if we might just do um, might actually do a bit of Brothers in Arms actually, because this I do like the table layout on here, and I I need to pop up a score on this. There were heroes born. So we'll get at least by the end of the stream, we should have what a is score it on makes it. Makes a great soldier. So that's something. Is it his brain? Um, or his heart? I'm going to go for that skill shot. I find it to be... Just get it to view two. And then... Whoa, that's... No, missed the skill shot. Nearly had it. Oh man. Ah, couldn't get that one. I fall in for a sec, guys. Ah, uh, let's try for that one again. Kill shot may as well have a massive brick wall in front of it. I cannot shoot it to save myself. Let's see if I can start a mode. Might need to have a do-over on this table. It's not a great, a great start to it, but we'll let it play out. It's my job. Like I was saying last night on the stream, uh, you know, pinball only takes one good ball, and you didn't. Yeah. Can't. Oh man. In this case, no good balls at all in that game. No, we'll play it out. Let's do it. Nearly had it. We got closer. Ah, oh, far out. Oh, just got that. Try and get those oh, the drop targets are down. So, An interesting point about this game is that um, you do progress through uh, the win the war modes, and the neat thing is that they're actually carried over um, per game. So, if you achieve a win the war mode um, in one game, you'll keep it. So, that's really cool. Uh, let's give the bridge a go. Get ready to set up and defend the bridge. We're moving to the other side. No one breaks through. So again, you're just shooting all the arrows, I want right? Bazooka ready to go. Fire on that position! Ah! Steht auf und lasst euch erschießen. Yeah, what you said. Take out that cover! Ihr verdammten Amis! Gebt endlich auf! Well, what to, got to say about this table, I, I really do like the thing. One thing I find hard sometimes though with it is the flat guns that are on the We lose another bridge and this um, is over. The slingshots, they they kind of take my focus away from the ball tracking. We will take this goddamn It's just only a minor back. minor critique of the table. Overall the table is quiet. Quite fun to play. The good thing is that even though, oh, okay, even though you are out of multiple here, you've only got one more ball on the table, um, you still have a chance at completing the mode. You just can keep that ball alive. It's down to essentially like one soldier. So, that's cool. Yeah, it's, it's a, 
It's sort of a fan layout, isn't it, um, Everly? But it's... I don't know. It's just a different feel to it, I think. I'm going to do another one. What is it that makes a great soldier? I'm, I'm going to try for that left-hand skill shot. It's probably the easiest or in the game. Hard. Oh, nearly. It's my job okay. to keep you alive. So what I found in the game as well as the the ramp shots and the sort of supplemental shots that are away from the the drop target area where you start the mode, they if you complete them before you start the mode, they will actually help you um, complete the mode easier. If my memory of the uh, Pinball Bytes stream was correct, or it may not have been Pinball Bytes actually, it might have been a, a mini developer interview with Thomas Cross, I think, who was the designer on this table, if my memory serves. Um, but yes, the designer was saying that, yeah, the The, uh, the ramp shots and stuff actually do help you if you complete them. Did I just sneak that through? Well, oh, okay. No, I don't want to do the bridge again. I'll do defense. Boom, boom. Ready for the Let's go. Over there. Take up positions now! Let's give them all we got! MJ! That cover's gotta go! Ah! I'm throwing a grenade! Granate! Aus dem Weg! Not being a native yeah, German Nami. speaker, I'm not quite sure Gebt what the German's saying auf. here, but I'm say it's something to do with right. don't let the, see the Allied there. forces win or something like that. Ich will hier nicht sterben. We need to get on their left man. flank! They don't see it! They come for links! Oh, uh, yeah, I understand what you mean. Actually. Yeah, it's it. I guess there's not a lot you can really do with pinball machine layouts, fundamentally. Is there though? Like they're, they're either going to be a fan or they're going to be some sort of variation of stop start gameplay. So, um, we've seen some interesting layouts so come out recently with Stern, um, with the new designers coming in, haven't we? Where um, some of the layouts they're still they use those anchors of a fan layout or more of a stop and start layout, but they introduce a lot more interesting gameplay elements. Uh, into the mix as well, like the, the Foo Fighters table that Stern have announced is a good example of that, I think. They've got like some interesting features in there that you just haven't seen in Pinball yet. And I think perhaps there's a opportunity there for Zen to, with their new designers, to just let them go a little bit outside the box and go like, what things can we do with our tables that will make job. them a little bit uh, unique? Okay, that wasn't a good I'd use of for uh, a sec, guys. the left flipper there. Uh, okay. I'm going to try that loop shot because it's a really early shot off a flipper, if I can get it. And of course I miss it. And of course, of course I do. Of course I get the lane for the skill shot that is not lit. But, yeah. Okay. Sure. <laughs> this is the way. Ah, and now I get the one for the skill shot. Of course. Yes. No. Okay. That's game over on that. Got about 10 minutes left on the stream, folks, until I have to bail. Um, 
It is, uh, I'm streaming from, if you don't know me, haven't seen before, I am streaming from Brisbane, Australia. So it's, uh, it's about nearly 12 o'clock here, nearly time for lunch actually. So uh, I've got time for maybe, I don't know, one more table? If anyone in the stream, I'll go back to the main table select screen and you can see what tables I've currently got access to in Steam. I've got all the new tables released as part of the Epic Games Early Access in the Williams Collection. So, um, Fishtails, World Cup, Machine, Swords, Twilight Zone, um, and then the Adams Family. Um, but the rest of the ones are just on trial at the moment. Maybe I'll just do... <clears throat> I'll finish off with Twilight Zone, hey? Let's do that. You unlock this door with the key of imagination. <laughs> You're not kidding. This table is incredibly cruel. Uh, it is for newcomers to pinball. You you never start them off with this table because they will think that pinball sucks after having played this one. Right? It is not a good introductory table. Somewhere that when this table was released, it like when it was first released back in I'd like to say 1992, it wasn't actually that successful because operators were finding that people just weren't clicking with it, and it didn't really <laughs> didn't really do very well until um, uh, the players started getting it and realizing that the table is really deep and it's really fun. And when you have it at home, you're not having to pay, you know point in time to use it, uh, it is actually a really great rewarding game if you get into lost in the zone. In the twilight zone. Beyond this door is a dimension of space. Idea, anyhow. Oh, you're dying. Literally dead. Come on, just give me a nice clean shot around there. Oh, nearly had it. Oh, another very close but not close enough shot to the player piano for the jackpot, and I wasted it. Okay. This is Twilight Zone. Absolutely. When you get a when you get a head around it and understand the shots and where the points are, it's, it's very rewarding. But quite, I guess you could say, okay, just walking up to it for the first time. 
even like, you know, where, where do I start modes and stuff like that, it's a little bit hard to tell. There's so many flippers, there's like, you know, sort of, at the time, quite groundbreaking playfield toys as well on it too, so. There's a lot of shiny. Camera. Okay. Lock, I note, is lit again, so I might get in there and... Whoops. That's a solid first ball. I'll say this, if I was on location and I had 191 million, I would be quite happy. That shouldn't have happened. <laughs> I wonder why balls are popping out of there so quickly. It's almost like the uh, little cup that the ball sits in behind that uh, lock mechanism isn't quite deep enough. Well, it's deep enough in the game, but it, it needs to probably be implemented a little bit differently in this digital version of Twilight Zone, I think. Definitely, uh, on Discord, it's a commonly reported fault with the initial release of Twilight Zone. Something I'm sure that Zen's we're working on right now to actually resolve, but that wasn't good. Um, yeah, but at the moment, we'll just have to persevere with it. Uh. Okay. Power's lit, so I'll try and get up to the power ramp there and see if I can complete the power. Oh, that'll do as well. Town Square Madness, don't want to get the ball anywhere near the pop up Square. stage. Just want to try and get the ball panel from the hand. I think. Oh, I really got it. Oh, 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 so close. Come on, get it up there. Time. Ooh, that was lucky. Oh, another go. Oh, unsuccessful again. No free. D Whoa, okay. No free door panel for me. Boy. Oh, where's the ball? Must have got the replay. That'll be handy. Because. More chances of getting lost in the zone. Well, theoretically. Time is a one way street, except in the Twilight Zone. Yep, that's exactly right. That is pinball. Now, where is the power ball at the moment? It looks like it's next in the throat of the gumball machine. So I have to do another gumball ramp. Oh, that was really lucky. even a flip. One for the house. Oh, 
All right, I think I will leave it there for now, folks. Thanks for tuning in to uh, my little stream here. Um, once again, I'm Jared. I'm one half of the Black Hate Pinball Podcast. Uh, we do a show every other week on YouTube, and then I put the show audio up to the podcast. Check us out at blackheadpinball.com, and uh, we hope that you'll uh, come and check out one of our uh, broadcasts uh, soon, if you like what you see here. So thanks again, folks. I'll let the next person uh, have a crack at the stream. All right. See you later.